Survivors and their family members have been trying for years to get what they call the justice of their lifetimes for what happened more than 100 years ago. In an 8-1 to one ruling, the Oklahoma State Supreme Court upheld the decision made by a Tulsa district judge last year. That ruling said the Tulsa Race Massacre survivors' grievances, although legitimate, did not qualify for reparations. If they were going to do reparation the easy way, it would have already been done. Our partner station in Tulsa spoke with Willie Sells, owner of T's Barbershop, the longest standing business on Black Wall Street since its rebirth. Those people that were here suffered a terrible loss, and I think it's affected the city down through the years. It's estimated up to 300 black Tolsons were killed, and over 30 blocks of the city were devastated by a white mob in 1921. The few living survivors sued the city of Tulsa and others in 2020, seeking reparations for the trauma they lived through. The city and insurance companies never compensated victims for their losses, and the massacre ultimately resulted in racial and economic disparities that still exist today, the lawsuit argued. We're hoping and trusting and praying that uh, the city, the state, or somebody in Oklahoma would give reparation to those survivors.